So here's an interesting thing. While browsing the internet, this message has popped up. Apparently, there are serious security vulnerabilities might have been found on my computer. And I have to ring a phone number for immediate assistance. If I click on the message to try and get rid of it, it won't go away. And instead it even comes up with another message saying your personal photos, Facebook and other personal passwords as well as credit card information will be at risk. This requires immediate attention. Contact tech support immediately. And there's even a window style blue screen of death just to make it look even more genuine. So, what should we do with this? Well, basically, it is a scam. It's a variation on the Microsoft Technical Support scam. With the Microsoft Technical Support scam, somebody will ring you claiming to be either from Microsoft or from Windows Technical Support, and they will tell you that they have detected viruses, adware, spamware, spyware, and all manner of nasty things on your computer. What will then happen is, they will usually prove this to you. So they will ask you to open the Windows event log, which even on a normal, perfectly healthy computer, has lots of errors and warnings in it. And they will convince you that these are proof that your computer has a virus. Then what they will do is, they will ask you for remote access to your computer which allows them control of your computer and they can then install software on it or change settings. They'll usually ask you for your credit card information and then they'll generally just install some rubbish on your computer for you. And this is basically a variation on that, only instead of them ringing you, you ring them. So what should you do if you get a message like this? Well the best thing to do is to go up to the file menu, uh, go up to the Safari menu and click Quit Safari. Now this one will actually let me get rid of it that way, but not all of them do. So what I might have to do is go up to the Apple menu and click on Force Quit. And then select Safari, although it should already be selected, and then click Force Quit. And then click Force Quit again and that will shut Safari down. Now the problem is, is if I restart Safari again, Safari opens the last page I was looking at, which in this case is this thing. So I need to shut force quit again. And now I have to hold down the shift key and click on Safari. So Safari says, uh, do you want me to reopen the windows? And I want to say, no, don't reopen. And now Safari won't go back to normal. 